Hello and welcome to Real Hi-Fi Help. Well, let's have a look at uh, my system so you can understand where I'm coming from and how I judge all of these, uh, all this equipment on the market. So try and check out this video, best speaker in the world on my channel. Then you can see how my room looks like. Um, so th this is like a typical audio note level three system. That is like basically what I have and uh i'll I'll just go through it here so uh level three audio note system um that comprises of uh, speaker audio note a and e speaker s p e that that's like the the first speaker where you test um the very top top sound i would say in my opinion you could also argue that the lower the lowest model that l x model uh, costing about half as much you could argue that that is also uh, like a, a a taste of of the best possible sound but uh, it gets a lot more advanced at around here amplifier is audio note auto se signature and um, there's of course a bigger silver model version that costs a lot more which is a hell of a lot better so if if you guys ever want to try one of the best amplifiers in the world i suggest you you try that instead of the uh, audio note ongaku since this gives you a lot more value for your money my personal opinion some people prefer the ongaku or even the uh the silver maisho tonmeister maisho so um <clears throat> dac audio note dac 4 and and yeah this is this is the first ever proper dac that i've had i've had a lot of other dacs um this is a huge part uh, of the reason why my sound is so good so you need a good DAC of course but also you need a good source and I was lucky to to get a source it cost me about um, four thousand dollars to put this together with a friend where he put some audio note parts in it and um, yeah you could probably get something similar uh, to this by buying uh, like an audio note CD3 um and um yeah you could uh, you can see here i have a speaker cable which is very similar to the audio note silver cable sound not quite as good um it was custom made to me by a friend and i have some audio quest 300 silver banana plugs some of the best plugs really compatible with the overall audio note sound and, and yeah it's a, a thing that's actually quite crucial to me getting that really good sound is that i have silver rca and coax cables from um, audio note and what i do is uh, i just use an rca cable as a coax cable from audio note i find it to be more natural i'm not so crazy about coax because of that uh, 25 what's it called uh, 75 ohm shield i find it makes sound a bit unnatural but i'll, I'll try and make a video about that later so that is one of the main reasons this here and i would say the streamer and the dac and the, yeah i mean it, it all makes a big difference and you know you wouldn't think so but power cables audio note isis copper cables and then together with uh oh yeah it's 037 plugs on everything again huge difference um you only really start noticing these things when you actually uh get it and put put it together so yeah and, and and again huge difference here wall sockets swo uh oh i forgot to write oh yeah yeah oh yeah swo uh gigawatt in cable gigawatt circuit breaker huge difference most people wouldn't think so but it makes a huge difference and and again isolate mini sub access that's like the glue making everything come together if i didn't have this box if i ran a normal power box one two five ten dollar power box um the sound would be very much more artificially harsh heavy uh unclear but in 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 in, in, a, in a kind of a a, a a good way uh, a very different priority so it wouldn't exactly be be very bad it would just be there would be a loss, lot less uh, clarity, a lot less separation, and the volume wouldn't be nearly as stable. 
and I wouldn't be able to access all the the small details and and, and hear all that that blackness between the uh, the details. So it, it would be good in a different way, but I would prefer this because just of the because solely because of the stable volume that I get. So yeah, everything's uh, kind of been been modified by myself and um, better a lot better tubes than standard. And um, yeah, that, that of course takes the sound to a whole other uh, level. So for me, this is like my last destination in, in hi-fi. I would of course like to have an extra room like with um, spectral uh, gear and a Martin design speakers, uh, but you know, that's gonna cost a lot. So yeah, th there is just so much synergy and same type of religion of sound. I don't have other types of brands um, putting their sound um, on top of it. So you you get very deep into a very deep and natural integrated type of sound. And uh, that's why I feel that I, I didn't really have to pay a lot of, of money in order to get into like what feels like, you know, the real uh, start of, of the top class of, of hi-fi sound and not these, um, what do you call it, pretend hi-fi systems that are costing 100, 200, 300, 500 thousand dollars, and then it's typically transistor, and then it's, I wouldn't say Macintosh or Equiface or Pass Labs, but you know, similar stuff like that, you know, th this is just so far beyond that. Um, so yeah, and for much less money. So this is what I've been able to, to do but but yeah i have to admit i don't have the best sound system in the world i've heard some few other sound systems like my two friends that just have insane uh levels of detail and you know insane black levels and you know my system doesn't get anywhere close to their sound and um yeah it, it kind of has to do with with money and them just um you know just having a better room, uh, being a bit more lucky, <laughs> stuff like that, uh, being um, perhaps more knowledgeable than me. Um, they, they've just hit some combinations that are just crazy good. But again, you know, my, my auto can't really compete against my my friend who has a an ongaku and uh, a speaker that is also audio you know, but a, but a bigger model than mine and a DAC that's a bigger model than mine and better cables than mine you know, I just can't compete against that that's why you have the level system in audio you know. and 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 to top that off he also has a better room than mine and just to, basically everything that he does is is, is is better than my system so yeah uh, am I jealous uh, yeah <laughs> uh, but that yeah that that's how it is that that's what you get when uh, you don't pay as much money and um that that is fair i can't complain and my other friend yeah he also has a um like like a system here as you can see uh, three times as much with one friend and the other friend pays like 15 times more than um more than my equipment to get his sound and and they both have a sound that's just ridiculously um a lot better than than mine and and and, and you know their type of sound beats most um types of, of crazy custom-made sounds like like you hear from these uh, oil shikes and <clears throat> business people in the world that have these custom-made systems they could be krell Macintosh, Aquaface, even Condo sometimes. I mean, their their system beats basically everything. And uh, there might be a, a system or two or three I haven't heard in the world that is, of course, better. Uh, there's always something better. So that that's the world that I'm coming from. That That's the detail that, that I'm used to. And I um, just want to go back here. And, and, and yeah, real, realistically, I've heard systems that are better than mine in the stores and at shows, but usually price-wise, this is what we're looking at. Then we're talking about spectral gear with Martin Design speakers in the, about, around the 
$1,000 uh, range. And then we're talking about Negra system with like a Martin design um, Coltrane speaker. And then we're again talking at around 300,000 US dollars. And, and that will that that will be uh, better on almost all levels, perhaps not quite as uh, natural with the Negra system, but it will be more impressive, a lot more detail than my system without a doubt, without a doubt. This here might, in theory, beat my system in regards to naturality if it's set up in a, in a really, really, really good way, not in the standard way. That then it uh, then I'm sure it it could beat my system. So, but again, you know, price wise, um, I think I did pretty well. And um, yeah, I've I've heard this about twice at a friend's place where he had this gear here, and it and it seemed about as good as my sound um not quite as natural but you know more impressive detail more layering and um just want to show you that um guys because this is an, an extremely good value system so if you ever want to beat the system i have this is like a, a, a close alternative to to doing that it gives a, a slightly a different type of sound so also good value, just like mine. Um, but I haven't heard a lot of systems really. I can't really think of any systems price-wise that m matches the same level of, of high quality sound. Um, I can't really think of any, but there might be, there might be. Um, so I just want to kind of end it with, uh, end the video with this is my system and everything I've listened to. These are like, you know, the conditions of, of what I'm used to listening to uh, sound wise. And th these are like the main reasons down here for why I judge sound um, and why I'm so harsh on a lot of gear. So it's to give you guys an idea of where I'm coming from, the standard that I'm used to. And this is the type of stuff that I pay attention to. And this is a longer list than all the normal reviewers have. So I'm not just a normal guy having listened to a, c a couple of brands and having used maybe five or 10 years. I'm, I'm very thorough with what I do. And these are like the things that I pay a lot of attention to. So notice the things that, that how predictable the sound is. Um, price, performance, religion of town. Of sound and and um, especially how reactive is the sound. I think it's a thing that a lot of reviewers don't pay enough attention to. Um, a lot of gear just sounds neat, sounds nice, sounds good, sounds cool, um, and then it's like, uh, yeah, how can I um, like like um, check this off? Because uh, it's got bass, it's got middle range, it's got treble, and and they're all good, you know. I think a lot of reviewers kind of think like that. They, they don't have this like deep mindset where you're, you're thinking about, you know, all of these things on, on, on different levels. So when I talk about 3D, I'm not just talking about uh, something sounding pretend 3D. I'm, I'm talking about 3D on, on what do you call it, on such a, a deep scale that uh, a lot of people don't really um, pay attention to or like um, the type of detail if it's very linear or if it's like um, warm sweater like or whatever and stuff like tonality and and just you know stuff like black levels i don't i don't hear that a lot from other um, reviewers but the ability to play a a detail where you hear the detail, all the detail in itself and the space between that detail um, going up to the side and going back uh, depth wise. So you can hear like the um, the number of meters there is between the clarinet and the drum and then and, and, and the microphone to to the left or right or where the singer is. You, you can hear all these uh, sorts of things. So these are things that I pay attention to. And, and of course, all the human stuff, you know, like musicality, um, soul, stuff like that. 
and I also try to go very deep so I open a lot of gear look into it or just check pictures online to see how is this built how long is the um, is, is the circuitry that the signal um, how are they how is the company trying to solve the problem are, are they doing it with high quality parts or are they just using smart boards uh, running class d and and then doing some manipulation with the sound using some specific terminals at the back uh, going in a certain direction and and you know i i just go i just like to do this you know i i like to go very deep um into like this insane um insane what do you call it depth where I'm almost totally dissecting the um, the equipment, figuring out how exactly it, it makes this type of sound. So yeah, that that's me. That's where I come from, and this is how a normal Audio Note Level Three system looks like. If you were to listen to a normal Audio Note Level Three system, just know that typically what you hear is just like um, you know, like a lot of other gear in, in other stores, it's you're only hearing about 10 15 percent. So, know that with audio note gear, you can typically get a sound performance that is at least two, three, four times um, compared to what you're listening to in that room. But when you're listening to um, normal gear, let, let's just say Macintosh, Aquaface, and Pass Labs, then you have gear that is more cemented into a certain type of sound that you can't move nearly as much and then you can maybe make the sound two or three times better but i've heard many times audio note gear like like a system like this be three four five ten times better just because it was um, uh, broken in and there was a proper match of cables and uh, it had a proper source, it had a proper room control, and, and stuff like that. It just, it just takes a reaction to a whole new level when you're talking about audio note. And that's why I chose audio note in the end, because I was able to go away from the standard audio note sound. I, I'm not crazy about the standard audio note sound. I, I like it. I think it's a lot better than most other brands, but for me, it's too... Uh, limited and 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 I chose audio note deliberately because I knew that I could manipulate the sound so that it suits me better so so I could really do whatever I wanted with the sound and you know and and I think that personally that that is like the one main factor to audio note being the best in the business because you can take a, a system like this and create like 10 totally distinct differently uh types of, of, of sound uh out there so i think that that's why they are so good and and if this was a, a macintosh system you know you would have pretty much the same type of macintosh sound on all of those uh, systems yeah you might be able to, to change the speakers and you know get a slightly different interpretation and some cables and some room correction and stuff like that yeah you you will to some degree change the sound without a doubt <clears throat> without a doubt but you i think still it's it's relative relatively flat and and conservative and plays it very safe and i just like that w with a system i like that that feeling that you have unlimited uh potential and you know having now owned these speakers uh just like in this picture here um i feel that i have a speaker now that i can finally go 10 20 30 years and just go on and on and on exploring them going deeper into the sound i, I don't feel at any point that there is a limit on the sound and that i should get one of the like eight models that are higher i, I already feel like the model that I have is like um, better than than most um, highest model speakers out there in the world. There are, of course, perhaps like one or two other speakers in the world that that perhaps beat my um, speaker in in some areas where I also wish that I had perhaps had this or or, or that thing going on. 
but price wise you know we're, we're talking about speakers that are like 10 20 50 times more expensive that have like one or two things that that perhaps are better at, at, at certain times and you know you just can't compare that you know price wise so i think overall i did a very good job and and you could tell that i used a lot of time getting to this point um a lot of money getting to this point i had to use a lot of um money before i could get to to this point and realize that this was like the best that money could buy and uh yeah that that's my system um i hope that helps you guys in um kind of understanding where i'm coming from and uh, why i judge things in the way that that i do so uh, this is me logging out remember to like and subscribe bye